Welcome to Studio Biology. In this video, we are going to discuss the reproduction in earthworm. Earthworm is bisexual, that is monoecious or hermaphrodite. but still it performs cross fertilization because of protandrous nature that is testis matures earlier than ovary no asexual reproduction is found in earth form now first of all we'll discuss the male reproductive system male reproductive system consists of testis with testis sac spermaducal funnels seminal vesicles vas deferens accessory glands prostate glands and their ducts first of all we'll discuss the testis testes are two pairs one pair each in 10th and 11th segment each testes is made up of 4 to 8 finger like processes having spermatogonia testes are white colored and small in size now the next one is testis sac testis sac are two in number one in each 11th and 12th segments some authors suggest that one testis sac is bilobed so two testis sac are there while some authors suggest that testis sac are four one for each testis now testis sac of 10th segment communicates with the and closes the first pair of testis while the testis sac of 11th segment and closes 
द सेकेंड पेयर ऑफ टेस्टिस एंड ऑल्सो द फर्स्ट पेयर ऑफ सेमिनल वेसिकल्स सो इन द डायग्राम वी कैन ऑब्जर्व दैट दिस इज टेंथ एंड इलेवेंथ सेगमेंट बोथ सेगमेंट्स आर हैविंग वन पेयर ऑफ टेस्टिस देन टेस्टिस सेक इज देयर दिस इज द टेस्टिस सेक द सेकेंड सेक the first sac encloses first pair of testes while the second sac encloses the second pair of testes as well as the first pair of seminal vesicles next structure related to reproduction are seminal vesicles these are two pairs one pair each in 11th and 12th segment these are white colored and large in size the testis sac of 10th segment communicates with the seminal vesicle of 11th segment while the testis sac of 11th segment communicates with the seminal vesicles of 12th segment it is visible in the diagram that this is the testis sac of 10th segment it is communicating with the seminal vesicle of 11th segment and the testis sac of 11th segment is communicating with the seminal vesicles of 12th segment next structures related with reproduction are spermidiucal funnels spermidiucal funnels are also two pairs one pair each in 10th and 11 segments these are ciliated funnel like structures in the testis sac so these are the spermidiucal funnels next structure related to reproduction are vas deferens vas deferens are two pairs each spermidiucal funnel becomes narrow and ciliated 
to form vast difference so there are four testes four spermidical funnels leading to four vast difference so each side there are two vast difference so vast difference of any side run posteriorly that is two vast difference are running posteriorly on right side and two on left side up to 18 segment and then join the duct of prostate gland so basically three ducts fuse two vast difference of one side and the prostatic duct of same side now the next one is prostate gland prostate glands are one pair extending from 17th up to 19th segment as we have discussed that one prostatic duct plus two vast difference of one side will fuse to form a common duct that will turn downwards and open outside the body as male genital pore of same side so this is a pair of prostate gland in 17th up to 19th segment now the next one is male genital pores male genital pores are one pair opening ventrolaterally in 18th segment next is accessory glands these are two pairs one pair each in 17th and 19th segment its secretion help the two earthworms uniting during copulation So in male reproductive system 
two pairs of testes are found all are in connection with one spermidiocal funnel the spermidiocal funnel continues as vast difference and there is another gland that is prostate gland it also gives a duct and both the vast difference and the duct of prostate gland fuse to form a common duct which dips ventrally to open into the ventral surface of the body which is known as male genital pore so this is the male reproductive system of earthworm thanks for watching this video